G'day guys, it's John from theproductivegarden.com and today I'm going to be checking this hive where I've got the swarm that I collected a few weeks ago. Now it's probably about, I think it's about three weeks since I last checked this hive, so they've had plenty of time, they're very busy, there's heaps of bees coming in and out. Um, what I'm wanting to find in here is, just to recap last time, I'd put a frame of brood in there because um, they either had a virgin queen in there maybe, or they had no queen, was what I was thinking, was why they wouldn't stay in the box when I collected the swarm. Put a frame of brood in there so that if they didn't have a queen, they could make a queen, and also the brood would keep them in the box and stop them leaving. So what I'm wanting to find is evidence that there's a queen in there, which will basically be either the queen, but it's not important to see her. What I want to see is new brood being laid in the honeycomb now. Um, what I'm also looking at as well is how much work they've done in there. I'm thinking that they're probably going to be pretty full. It's probably going to be just about time to put another super on top um, so they've got room to store honey. So we'll have a look. Let's give them a bit of smoke in the entrance first. Right, one click the top. See how I'm right, gonna need the tool to get that off. So they've stuck the lid down a bit. Lift the lid with a bit of smoke in there. Oh right, yeah, uh, let's see how they're going. <coughs> now, also last time I'd put two um, two frames of honeycomb on the outside that I took from the hive that died out. And um and they had undrawn comb three on this side then they had the frame of brood and then two undrawn comb here and i can already see they they look like they've actually capped a whole lot of it whoops so let's have a look they're actually pretty friendly bees too um, i've been working around here and they they generally don't worry about me too much So, let's grab this frame, just straight out, what have we got here? Wow, yep, they definitely have a queen, because that is jam-packed with brood. Let's have a look, see if we can find her on here. Wow, that is packed with brood, that is. Can't see her on this side. Can't see here, and capped honey around the top. So if you'll notice here, the pattern on a brood comb, capped honey around the top, the honey stores and pollen, and brood around here. And the, the cells around the bottom corners tend to be a bit bigger, because they tend to make those for brood. And I can't see her on here either. But yeah, they have heaps of brood in this one. A few drones, I can see one drone cell. But that is great, that's unreal. So we definitely have a queen in here. And she's a hard worker. All right, I'll just give these guys a little bit of smoke. And me as well. Oh yeah, I'll just leave them there for now. And we'll have a look at another frame. So, let's see this one. And again, packed with brood. That's unreal, these guys have worked really hard, so. I think I need to get myself another box together. Right, 
can't see her there. Few few drone cells, which is pretty normal. I don't worry about how many drone cells there are. Some people panic about having lots of drone cells. The bees will make as many drone cells as they need. And um, I don't see drones in the hive being a problem. They have a purpose, and that's to spread the genetics to other piece eaten honey that's probably left over. Okay, now I'm on you lot. Settle down. Okay, now this is the one that had the brood on it. We actually have a little bit of cross came in here, which I'll just break up. And again, this is going to be packed old comb as well, but heaps of brood on there. Oh, we actually have a queen cell as well, which is most unusual. We obviously have a laying queen. I shall have two queen cells. So I'm thinking I might actually split these. So, give me a second, I'll be back. And I have, actually no, I'm not gonna do it now because I need to get some frames ready first. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is... Actually, do have some frames. Yeah, okay, so... I have a bit of a plan. Give me a second. I've just got to go and get one thing, and then we're going to try and do a bit of a split and make a new hive out of these guys. These guys are obviously um, working really hard. They've got one frame with two queen cells. I'm going to check the other frame. So they're obviously wanting to, to swarm. So I want to prevent that. I'm going to take some frames out of here with brood and some honey and I'm going to put some drawn frames in and let these guys think they've already swarmed. So I'm just going to go and get something and I'll be back. All right, so we'll finish this off quickly. What I've got here, I've got a free frame nuke, which I'm going to take. I've got frames here to replace the ones I take out of this hive. Okay, so I'm going to take some frames out of here, especially the one with the queen um, cells on it. And I'll actually show you those queen cells for those that might not have seen any. Even though it's making them cranky. That there is a queen cell. Okay, and there's one on the other side as well. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the middle. Better make sure the queen's not on there first. It'll be a waste of time. No, she's not on there. Lost a few bees, unfortunately. Okay, so let's make double sure. Lots of pollen in here, Jesus. Heaps of pollen. Just want to make especially sure that they're not in here, that she's not on here. Righto, so she can go in there, and that can go in there. Okay, give me some more smoke. Oh, there's another coin cell on this one. Lots of drones. Uh, 
Yeah, getting a bit cranky these guys. So we're going to finish this off pretty quickly then. See what's here. So I might put that one in there as well. Just to make sure the queen's not on there. I'm pretty sure she's not on there either. gone onto that frame. It's amazing. Okay, let's put this in here. And then we'll just push them together. Right yeah. We'll put this frame in here. frame in. Right, I really would like to be able to see the queen so we'll just have a look at some more frames and I'll probably put a frame of honey in as well. Right, she's not there. Ah yes, she's there. So I know where she is. She's looking nice and fat. I won't show you her because these guys are getting shits. Okay. I'm going to have a look at this frame and see if it's got honey in it. Looks like queen cells. I'm going to break them out. I don't really want any more queen cells in there. Okay. Have a look at this frame. See what it looks like. Okay, this has got heaps of honey and a queen cell. Oh, for now. Okay, we'll just cut that queen cell out. Get rid of it. Okay, we'll give them this honey. So there's two frames of brood in there. One frame reasonably full of honey. I'll put this frame on the outside. I'll put this frame in here. I'll just cinch them up a bit first so there's plenty of room and I've just got fucking stung. Which is hardly surprising. Someone was bound to get through. Put this down here. Put that out. Put their lid on. All right. Put their lid on. Put their lid on here. I'll go and replace these guys. This is going to be a quick sign off because I've just been stung again. Um, yeah, so I'll leave these guys. I've annoyed them enough now. I'll go and put these guys in a spot where I want them and we'll get a split out of this. Okay. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye. <laughs>